Welcome to the next video in my series on how to fly an FPV multirotor using FPV Freerider as the uh, learning environment. In this session, we are going to work on an exercise, another precision exercise. And I think this is a great exercise because it works all of your axes, pitch, roll, yaw, and throttle at the same time. This is an exercise that some people have asked for, and I think it's a great idea, and here it is. So we're going to go to the meadow, and we're going to pick an object. And I want to pick an object without too much nearby. So let's just see if we can do it off this uh, four-post gate here. And what you're going to do is you're going to do turns around the object while facing the object. Let me see if I can just give you a good example. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the object centered in the camera. I'm trying to keep my distance from... Oh, try not to crash. I'm trying to keep my distance from the object consistent. And uh, ideally, I'm trying to keep my speed consistent as well. But of all the things to work on, that's probably the least important. But I do want to keep my speed reasonable so that I don't uh, I don't get out of control and crash. And, I'll, and the whole time, of course, I am managing my altitude. Oh, see, the ground isn't level here is the problem. I keep crashing into that hill as it comes by, so there's a little extra challenge. Unfortunately, there isn't really a, a good flat place to try something. Maybe this gate is better ourselves as few surprises as we can. So this is what we're going for. So here's how you can do this. Start just hovering near the object. Give yourself a little space. The closer in you are, the harder this is going to be to do. So I'll back up a little, give myself a little space. And then start to roll to the side. And as you move to the side, of course, the object will drift and you'll need to yaw. And as you yaw, the horizon will level out again and you'll need to keep rolling to keep the horizon tilted. But you can see that if I keep doing this without pitching at all, I will end up moving in a spiral away. And the reason for that is centripetal force, or centrifugal force, uh, one of those two. Uh, you're moving in an arc, you're going to have outward acceleration imposed by the fact that you're moving in an arc. So you need pitch forward as well to counteract the centrifugal force. I believe it's centrifugal force. So in addition to rolling and yawing to maintain your, uh, your horizon angle, you're also going to need to pitch forward to keep yourself from drifting outwards. And you're going to do all of that at once, also while managing your throttle to maintain your altitude. So if you start to get too close, ideally you should not pitch back, but you should just let yourself drift outward with this by the centrifugal force. So if I let myself get in too close here, I'm getting closer. I can just, I don't need to pitch back. If I just don't pitch forward as much, I will naturally drift out again. That makes things easier. If you just pitch forward. Using yaw to keep the object in the center of the screen. See, I've gotten too close again, so I'm just going to let myself drift back out again without putting in pitch forward. And now I'll start pitching forward again. Oh, I really mucked it up now. Ah, uh, let's try it again. Using yaw to keep the object roughly in the center of the screen. So if the object starts getting to the right of the screen, I don't put as much yaw in. And using roll the whole time to keep the horizon at the desired angle. So now I'm much further away. I 
I feel better if the object is a little bit to the left of center. Like I'm almost... It's almost a little bit cheating. I'm sort of flying tight circles around it rather than spiraling nose in. But you should be able to do it spiraling nose in as well. The more the object is to center, the more actually nose in you are. Pitch back a little there. So. This is a... Uh, a move you can only just get with lots and lots of practice. Uh, I've seen Mr. Steele do it in some of his videos really fast, and it's a really impressive move. You always need to be rolled to the right to keep you moving right, or left, if that's the direction you're going. You always need to be pitched a little bit forward to uh, counteract the centrifugal force caused by your spiraling. And you always need to be yawing to the left to counteract the roll, or to coordinate the roll. And those things are constantly changing as you rotate around the object. And you're not going to find one position in the joystick that you can hold because the whole thing is constantly in motion and constantly adjusting. So that's your move. You've got to hover in front of the object at a, at a comfortable distance. You're going to take off. You're going to roll to the right yaw to the left, and you're going to need to begin pitching forward to counteract the drift to the side. And you can do this slowly if you, if you pay attention and are careful. And you want to try to keep the object in the center of the screen. You want to try and keep the horizon consistent and keep your distance from the object consistent. See, I'm going slower, I'm doing a better job. I also, of course, keep your altitude consistent. The more roll you have, the faster you will go, and the more pitch you will need to keep yourself from drifting outwards. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. The less roll you have, the less pitch you will need and the less yaw you will need to keep the move all all together. That's it. That's your that's your move to practice. You know, somebody said, oh, well, you do a, a video on how to do this move. And uh, the answer is, well, I mean, I've just told you how to do it. But it's one of those things where I could tell you how to do it, but you're not going to get it unless you practice. So there you go. Practice. All right. Have fun. Happy flying. Bye-bye.